So what are human rights? Human rights are the rights that everyone has simply by virtue of being human. They're universal, they're inalienable and they're indivisible. Them being universal means that um, everyone has them. Uh, whether you're born in Angola or in Afghanistan, whether you're born in Alaska or in Australia, you have human rights. Them being inalienable means that nobody can take these rights away from you. Um, even if you don't have a passport, whatever your government is, your human rights are yours. The idea of indivisibility means that all the rights you have cannot be separated from each other. You have a whole range of different rights. Uh, you have civil rights, the right to life, but also the freedom uh, of expression, for instance. You have political rights, like the right to vote. You have economic rights, for instance, the right of access to fair labor conditions. You have social rights, like the right to education. And you have cultural rights. And all these rights are interrelated. In order to be able to vote, you have to be educated. And this is why these rights are indivisible. Now, this is a question on which a lot of people would have a lot of different answers, but to which I as a lawyer have a very simple one, which is we have these rights because we agreed that uh, people would have them. In 1948, those member states of the United Nations at that time signed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And in 1993, all the 192 member states of the United Nations, all the countries in the world, affirmed the idea that everyone living in their country had these rights. Some people would say everything. Human rights are related to the idea of natural law as written down already by the ancient Greek Aristotle, the idea that there's a higher law that applies even if the laws of the land don't recognize it. And human rights, this idea of human rights, relates to this idea of natural law. On the other hand, if you look at today's world with all these treaties in your hand, you see a big discrepancy with reality. You see a lot of injustice. If you see the eyes of Syrian children being bombed, if you see people starving of famine in the desert in Africa, if you see a victim of domestic violence or of uh, discrimination of the rights of LGBT people in our countries, you see the discrepancy between the rights and the reality. And there's a lot of people who also say, okay, it's important not only to look at their rights, but also at these realities, at these injustices in the world today, and the ability of human rights to actually do something about it.